Hey there guys, I am the Undead Paladin and welcome back to episode 20 of my factorial let's play. I started this let's learn a little over three weeks ago because I uh, skipped two days at the very least. But we're here at episode 20. Um... As you can see, I'm doing research. Now, I said I wasn't going to do any research in between episodes, but I have been playing for a little over an a uh, little over 2 hours trying to get everything streamlined and preparing for um tier 2 stuff and things. And I ran into a problem. I still do not produce enough iron. So I thought to myself, fuck it, and I just um, brought half of the iron I produce in the new base over to this place, and I've been using that for a while. I also said I wasn't going to do any research in between episodes, but I really need mud uh, going soon. I can also tear this down because I'm not going to need it anymore. I have steel automated in the new base. And uh, I don't need steel here anymore. I'm also sorry about the lack of um, my commentary in last episode. It skipped... It, it, for some reason, my um, headset software just turn my microphone volume completely off and there was nothing I could do about it I'm very sorry that it happened um, I did do a check now and I know for a fact that everything is fine so there that's uh, the excuses out of the way so um, we're doing a little bit of research. As you can see, I ended last episode with ending a recent... Well, no, I was halfway through some research or another. I finished that, uh, then played for an hour or so, trying to get some things going. And because I really, really need mud, I decided to go ahead and just do some research off camera even though I said I wasn't gonna do that unless I specifically told you guys I was gonna do it um, my apologies but I really need it as you can see I also updated my assembling machines to mark 2 assembling machines and I have a thing planned in the planner this can go away by the way because right now we have done that there I am gonna add the and that recipe is going if Helmut wants to load of course a green science I am gonna want to produce one science pack uh, a second if it if at all possible um, well the <laughs> good thing that I prepared earlier let's see um, we need how many of these I need eight of those working on it I'm gonna go with four because I have the feeling that I can afford running four of them but I can't afford running eight of them so we're gonna do a little bit of heresy again which by now shouldn't really come as a surprise anymore and we're gonna have to there we go, uh, mud omni traction please. We're gonna have to um, tear, um, tear this down, go down here. Uh, I'm gonna need more belt, no problem. I have loads of belt. Um, there. I've got loads of it, I'll be fine. So I'm, I'm going to go with four assembling machines. It's not the perfect ratio, but it's the ratio I can handle right now. Um, I'm also going to need more more space for this. So I guess we'll... Uh, 
will will be a little bit ugly about it and do some more spaghetti belts the thing I'm trying to avoid in the new base is uh, metric ton is having metric tons of spaghetti belts and so far I've been doing a rather good job the thing is um, I can't can't not do it here um, I don't need you anymore um, yeah I can't not do spaghetti belts here for now at least because I'm still getting things set up and stuff like that. I don't need you here because you are there. That will do. Then we go th uh, this way. Grab four of you. One, two, well, no. You need one space apart. And four. Grab me some electric poles, connect them up. I did it in exactly the correct spot on accident. That's good to hear. There we go. Um, then grab more of you. There, 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 and there. And then fire some. Uh, some other heresy you're gonna be transported to right over there I am gonna make it look a little bit nicer and I'm gonna do it right here instead there because this will mean that I can do this and that'll look a little bit nicer and you're gonna be green signs, of course. There. That'll speed things up a little, at least. Okay. So that's green signs automated again. <laughs> In a better location this time as well. Using a shit ton of spaghetti belts. But that's fine. A little bit of spaghetti doesn't. Uh, a little bit of spaghetti won't kill anyone. Um, okay, so now we're doing mud on the traction. While we're doing that, let's uh, let's do a little tour of the base for those who haven't seen all the episodes. So um, this, uh, yeah, well, this heresy can't stand. I, well, it can stand. I don't care. It's just creating more uh, it's just creating stone so let's start with the old base um, this is where my first all night patch was it's almost completely gone by now and I think this one only stands because the, it, it doesn't have any place to go here I'll fix that for a sec this one will be gone, gone soon enough this is where the Omnite comes in. I am currently producing a surplus of Omnite, which will vanish once I connect these, at least. Um, this is where I process most of the Omnite into Sapphirite. I used these four to make Stereotide at first, but I decided to discontinue it because um, I decided to discontinue it because I don't need as much copper ore. As you can see when we, we go over here, I actually have 30, 13k copper ore stored and I'm mostly creating a backlog. Um, I'm using Metallurgy Mark II machines. Now this is not the perfect ratio anymore. I am aware of this. Um, I can actually completely get rid of three of these here, I think. But I'm, I'm keeping them around for all time's sakes. These ones are not upgraded to level 2 yet. And I'm, 
probably not gonna because I don't need as, as much uh, copper as I need iron. I need a lot of iron, which is why I'm upgrade why I upgraded all these to uh, to level two. Um, so here is my spaghetti belt loop. Um, yes, it, it's it's a lot of spaghetti belts. Here I have. I still use impure uh, omnitraction here because I can't be bothered making it pure. Uh, I should actually upgrade to uh, to omnitractor twos. This is where I create my um, electronics components. I don't need all these on my person. I am gonna want three stacks on me though. Um, this is mostly manually fed, except for the, um, except for the, well, no, it's it's completely manually fed actually. This is my wooden chest of Omni wood. I'm gonna use that to create some, um, some, what's it called? Greenhouses later. But I thought let's uh, keep them around for a sec. This is my ore sorting, ore sorting stuff. There. Sometimes a little bit of crushed stone gets makes it through, but it should be mostly fine now. I actually do need a little bit of copper. I'm gonna gonna make you sort and make you crush. There. Um. Yeah, I need some copper. That's what I was getting. I already forgot. That's how forgetful I get. This is where I make my uh, my BCBs, uh, basic electronic boards. It still requires me to manually feed an omnifused wood. Um, it's my plan to get rid of it between, well, not between, in this episode or next if I can do it. I'm afraid I can't, but um, um, it's 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 a goal. And now we're gonna take a tour of the uh, new base. I have been building that one completely off camera. I haven't done any type of work on it on camera. Mostly because, um, mostly because I kind of wanted to keep it a secret. Well, not exactly keep it a secret, but I, I I thought you've seen me set up things before, you're not gonna want to see th this again, which is why I, I chose not to include it. I am actually gonna make two loaders if I can real quick, one, two, three, four, five, there we go, get a chest in the middle. I think um, anyone with any... Uh, and anyone who's who's seen any of my videos knows exactly what I'm about to do right here. I'm I'm creating a little omnite buffer. Um, can be can be very useful. There we go. This should start backlogging soon. Um, there we go. These are uh, fuel processors who are creating fuel to fuel the entire base. Most they're biggest job is fueling all of these which is creating all the electricity over here um, this is producing uh, at best 18 times 9 um, 72 and 90 so um, <laughs> 162 so um, 16.2 megawatts if my math is correct I'm sure um, Zelos will correct me if I'm not. I uh, I did some maths two episodes ago on camera and I totally messed that up. So um, these are uh, Mark II crushers. Um, I'm feeding them with with uh, what's coming in here. I I'm producing enough here that I think if there that should keep things nice and happy over here um, yeah these two are getting the brunt of the omnite so they're constantly working 
these are my Mark 1 ore sorting facilities. Everyone gets a little bit, but it's mainly those the, these three working constantly. Um, yeah, this is another uh, ore storage. I should start um, should starting sorting out the slack soon. I'm using um, a blast furnace Mark 2 here. Induction furnace mark 2 casting machines mark 2. Here's a little iron buffer that I was using uh, in between episodes But then I started automating steel because I like to have a little bit of steel and That's where uh, these machines come in. They use a lot of iron believe it or not and I pilfered the uh, rest of the iron. I'm actually gonna disable that pilfer yet again because I have the feeling that I'm not gonna need it anymore. That my uh, old base is perfectly capable of taking care of its own now. It didn't used to be that way, but now it seems to be fine. So I think it's it's prudent to delete it again. So we'll. We'll take the slow route, the scenic route, to uh, the old base. Well. I'd like to be on the iron. So that we... Uh, well, nah. Can't be bothered. Oh. I'll pick up the iron. I'm gonna... Might need it anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of iron when this is done. That's fine. I need a lot of iron. Well, maybe not this much. I'm, I'm gonna start just using the planner again. There we go. So, I've been thinking between episodes... Um, yeah, yeah, thinking not exactly a good idea most of the time, and I am probably gonna make it a personal challenge type deal to create um, specialized bases. So, um, have a base for ore production, have a pr base for well, no, not ore production, but place for um, the have places to mine the ores have places to process the ores then have a place to do research have a place that automates all the things and I'm gonna want a central hub where I'm gonna um, where I'm gonna be mostly um, stationing myself from and I think the old base here might become that central hub soon-ish when um, my current Omnite mines run out of Omnite. That that sounds like a good time to uh, to move, I guess. We'll see about what I actually do. It's just a silly idea right now, and I think it might be fun. But what do I know? Uh, I don't know Factorio well enough. There we go. That's about uh, half the episode gone. Now I'm gonna do more red science research because I still haven't done all of it. Um, yeah, electric mining drill mark two, please. I'm gonna want to upgrade them uh, soon-ish. And I am actually, well, do I work? What research do I need for the car? Car. Makes sense that you need car research to make a car. Well, we'll uh, we'll we'll rush the car. I'd like to uh, get around a little bit faster, explore a little bit to find uh, some patches with infinite omnite, so that I can um, do research a little bit faster, uh, so that I can. Um, build a, a couple nice mining places I'm also gonna want um, red belt anyway so 
Okay, so what now? Um, well, no. Um, I'm gonna want silicon first. It's quartz, not silicon. Quartz crystal. Ah, crap! Do I? I need. I need crystals for this. Do I? Ah, crap. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna get ready to make crystals. Crystallology. Well, let's hope it'll be fun. I think it will actually. And this is keeping up nice. No, this is keeping up nicely. Well, maybe not the. Uh, well, it'll have to do. It's probably not keeping up because I, I improved them to uh, assembly machines too. It actually makes it a little bit. Um, I'm actually gonna improve you. Make a second set of you. There. 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 Well, no, not these ones. <laughs> Just uh, this one, please. Grab you. Drop you. Okay. Oh, there. There. That'll do. Let's let let it be a little bit faster. There. That'll do nicely. So, okay, we're uh, creating a, a green science backlog. I like seeing that. I'm not going to invest in more labs because I have the feeling that I can't can't um, keep them running constantly. Um, so, what do we actually need? Because I know you can crush Omnite, I just don't know what it's used for. So we're gonna gonna grab ourselves a. Um, okay, so I'm gonna need some stone brick. I know I have some in the uh, the old base, uh, the new base. Yeah, see, I uh, I was right about that one. As soon as as it had a chance to get rid of its stuff, it went out with a bang. I have some stone smelting automated in the new base. So I'm gonna go there and grab my uh, grab my stone brick. Well, it's not automated, but it's working. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of a uh, stone brick. Um. Okay, I'm gonna want one ore crusher, please. And I'm gonna want to uh, automate the production of assembling machines and things like that soonish. Because I'm gonna need a lot of those as well. Where, where, yeah. We're just about um, making a loss on, on like only just, but it's enough to say that we're making a loss. There we go. You crush some Omnite for me, please, so I can find out what it's used for. <laughs> That's the entire reason this thing exists. Okay. Let's use Hell Mod. Is this Hell Mod? I don't know. I don't care. It's used to make Omnic Acid, which is which requires purified water water purification in a hydro plant. Now, um, I did actually um, 
make a hydro plant in between episodes because I was going to try it out. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's actually do it. Let's make some crushed omnite and let's start making uh, omnic acid. Don't know what's it what it's used for, but I've heard that it's quite invaluable to have. So, yeah. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's also get um, a omni plant because I'm gonna want of one of those. Um, now nah, one is gonna be fine for now. Um, yeah, let's continue this because I'm gonna need it to create more water in the Omni plant. Um, I don't know exactly how big it, it's pretty big. I don't think it'll fit in this gap and still be uh, working. So we're, we're just gonna prepare for that eventuality. Um, no. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have fit. You're gonna make me some water, please. Just plain, just plain water, not viscous mud water, which is a thing I'm gonna want eventually, but not right now. And there, you're gonna pick up and drop over there. And. Uh, you're gonna offset to the close side there and then I'm gonna grab the, this little bit of water there oh there we go and now um, how do I make um, omni acid where do I hydro no that's a hydromic acid oh I need uh, to purify the water first because I'm gonna need steam. Um, there we go. Come on, come on, purify me some water, please. Actually, no, it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna want soon TM. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need some more water. Well, we'll uh, grab some from this side as well, I suppose. There. Um, you're gonna be the close side. Same as you. And then we're gonna build a boiler here do I I don't grab me a boiler I have a boiler now um, the boiler is gonna need um, the boiler is going to need fuel as well so I may as well continue these again um, Grab, put, okay, um, there and there, there, there and there, there, and you're gonna make steam, and you're gonna belt it. <laughs> Can you can't belt steam? Okay, good to know. So you're gonna be facing this way instead. You're gonna make steam. And we're gonna make piping. For the first time since the start of this series, we're gonna need piping. Good to know. Okay, so now where do I make, in which machine do I make omnic acid? In a omni plant. 
good to know. Um, yeah, you, um, offset on the short side. And this is a, a unwanted side product, the saline, saline water, which I can use to, well, we'll, we'll just void it for now, I suppose. I'm gonna want to three loaders. Um, chest right over here. Okay. Well, let's make it four. Um. Oh, I oh, well, I already have one. Oh yeah, no, that's uh, one I created. Never mind. Make you filter you on purified water. There, grab the saline water. Put all of you back in. I'm actually just gonna stick you in there. Then grab your output one this is gonna be saline water and I'm just gonna stick it in another chest for now because I I have the feeling that I'm gonna use it for something else because isn't it always that way in uh, in this mod pack so there you're gonna um, well, let's make an underground pipe. You're gonna go in here. You're gonna make Omnic Acid. Two, two, one, and one. And you're gonna be long inserts there. Um, this is gonna need regular steam, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I can build it. Belt it. Even though it uh, said I couldn't. Well. Lies and slander. Well, I, I may not be able to uh, belt the other one. Well, it'll get built. There. Omnic Acid. Now, what's Omnic Acid used for? We'll find out once the craft finishes. Oh, this needs Omni Packs. Never mind then. Then we'll go with... Um, with Mining Drills Research. Gonna want that more researched anyway. Okay, so we have a little bit of omnic acid. Let's find out what's it used what it's used for. So it's used to make omni sludge, hydromnic acid, omni seed, omnifused seedlings, which, which we're gonna need soon, and omni algae. Now I, I'm gonna be honest here, and I'm gonna tell you that I have no clue what. Um, any of that is used for. So we're gonna find out. Omni algae. What do you use omni algae for? You can make the other other color algae, which you can use to get um, cellulose fiber. Doesn't look like anything we're gonna need right now. So let's look into the other stuff. Omniston. I can use Omniston to craft uh, Omni packs. Actually, well, let's let's not do that right now. Okay, so we do have Omnic Acid, but I don't have any use for it right now. That's good. That's good. 
I'm probably gonna be low on uh, steel, I'm gonna guess. So, yeah, Omnic Acid has been automated right now. It doesn't even look that bad, to be honest. Um, you're gonna be offset to the short side. Because I can. Okay. Well, we're doing that just to get a uh, Omni Crystal. So, how does Omni Crystals work? Let's find out, shall we? I am gonna want to create um, iron ore. So, I'm gonna need iron crystals, for which I'm gonna need Omnite shards and fluid name iron ore Omnite solution and Omni Sludge, so I'm gonna need Omni Sludge and if I remember correctly I need Pulverized Stone, which I do have. Um, I need some more of you. Um, where are they? Here they are. Grab two of you. Gonna grab two of you because I do have some of it set up and if I'm, I, if I'm allowed to guess, I'm gonna guess that needs to be done in an Omni plant. There we go. Let's grab your outputs. You're gonna output nothing but what I need, which is good. Um, gonna do some spaghettiing because I have to for now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I promise in the specialized base it's gonna look better, but... Oh. But as you know, right now, all it's, it's about is learning how this modpack works and um, how to do all the stuff. We'll make it look nice once we want to automate more things. So I'm gonna have to make Omni Sludge, which we'll do by grabbing the um, the Omnite here. Don't know if you can see that, but the uh, Omnic Acid here. I'm sorry. And um, well, um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this best. Yeah, you're gonna need more than this. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be smart about it and I'm just gonna start loading it in. There. That's the smart approach. Um Where's the... I have the feeling that the pulverized stone is stuck somewhere. Exactly. There we go. Um, well... Honestly... So let's see if we can get you going in a f You're gonna make um, Omni Sludge, which is here. There you go. Make all the Omni Sludge. Um, can I make iron belts now and stuff? No, I cannot. Oh, wasn't that because logistics too needs... Oh no, I, I just cancelled the process. Pro progress. You need a lot of this, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take the smart approach again. I'm just gonna create a loader and load it in. I'm just gonna 
don't need a lot of, of the uh, Omni Sludge, so I'm just gonna make you go that way, load you up, grab the loader, there, that'll do a little bit better, Omni Sludge created, now Omni Sludge we're gonna need to use to make iron crystals, let's uh, make iron crystals, so I'm gonna need Omnite shards, which we can get by Oh, so I'm gonna need Omnite Crystals first, for which I'm just gonna need a, a whole lot of of uh, Omnite, of Omni Sludge, and of course this is in another Omni Plant. And because we're a smart bean, and we know that we're gonna need to, uh, well. Ouch! So it's this is a difficult choice. So it's either nine minutes or nine hundred minutes for um, a cheaper recipe. Um. Well. Yeah. Well, it would. It makes sense that way. So we are going to do one, one really short, well, one really long craft over doing one really cheap craft, uh, over doing one really uh, expensive craft, because clearly I'm not producing enough to uh, get everything moving at the correct speeds and stuff like that. I'm gonna, gonna make another loader. I really like loaders. Um, so be prepared to see them a lot. I I I prefer the really long craft over the really cheap craft because over the really expensive craft because I know I can get a hundred I know I can get a thousand, but I'm gonna regret it um, because it costs a lot of pulverized stone, and I don't want to go through my pulverized stone faster than is needed. So nine uh, five thousand four hundred seconds. That is, if I'm not mistaken, ninety minutes, one and a half hours. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna let this game run in between episodes to uh, get that to get that because that's a really long time. Um, yeah, if I'm I'm if I'll, I'm smart about this, if I'm really smart about this, I'll just make another one. I'm going to have to do this then. Well, no. Um, there, 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 and there. There we go. That'll do. It'll be a little bit slow. But that's going to be fine. Yeah, I shouldn't be burning all night, but I can't be bothered to bringing, to actually bringing uh, fuel around. There! That is one slow ass production chain honestly just output directly into this thing it's gonna save me a lot of pain okay and might as well have you export 
right into this thing as well. There, that makes a little bit more sense to me. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove them and I'm gonna let this one run for one and a half hours. Um, and once that is done, I am gonna crush it up to shards and I am gonna save at least I can't remember for the life of me what I needed for another craft, but I'm gonna save at least one of the shards. Um, well, pro um, it's made in Om9 and Om9 is used to make Om9 shards, which are used to make more Om9. Um, I think, okay, so I need to save at least three, and you get ten of those per craft. So that seems pretty straight straightforward. Uh, once this is finished, which is going to take, excuse me, a really long time, I'll admit that, then we'll have things to go on. Anyway... If you like this episode, please don't forget a like. If you did not like this episode, leaving a dislike is fine. But please tell me in the comments what I should change to make these episodes more likable. I do this because uh, I do this for you. I don't do this for myself. Well, kind of do it for myself as well. But and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.